All right, so for numbers 11 and 12, uh, I'm just going to focus on uh, talking about relative minimums and relative maximums. Uh, I did a couple of other videos uh, doing that as well, but I wanted to focus specifically on talking about relative minimums and maximums. Uh, and so just, I already did this example in another video, but I'll show you this one here again. Uh, let's talk about a parabola. So in a parabola, or in a quadratic function, we have this vertex. So a vertex, and this one's down here. Okay? And the vertex is at the minimum or the maximum of the graph. Right? It's the lowest point or the highest point of a parabola. And in this case, it's at the minimum or the lowest part. Okay? And so for a quadratic function, there's only one place. And that is why we just said the minimum or the maximum. But take a look at numbers 11 and 12. Notice how these are uh, piecewise functions, or, uh, yeah, piecewise functions that, again, have multiple turning points. And when we say turning point, it has to go from increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing. Because most people say, like, oh, there's like kind of like a, a point where, like, it, the graph kind of shifts a little bit. And that's important to notice, but it's not necessarily a minimum or a maximum. It has to be a place where the graph goes from increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing. So, for example, number 11. Clearly, right down here, is a, a point where it goes from decreasing to increasing. And a lot of people would be confused and say, oh, there's a point right here. Well, take a look at this. So the graph's going down and decreasing, but does it go to increasing? No, it just decreases more. It kind of goes at a more sharper angle. So that wouldn't be a point where it goes from uh, in decreasing to increasing. So this is not a relative minimum or maximum. So the only one for this graph is right here, down here at the bottom. And when I say that again, is that point at the lowest point of that part of the graph or at the highest point of the part of that graph? Obviously, it's the lower. So it's a relative minimum. And at this particular point, it's at 1 comma negative 3. So there's a relative minimum at x equals 1 if you wanted to be super formal, but just putting the ordered pair is also fine. Okay, so number 12, again, we're looking for places where the graph goes from increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing. All right, let's take a look here. It looks like right here, because it starts from increasing to decreasing, Right here at this point, because it goes from decreasing to increasing. Another point, because it goes from increasing to decreasing. And so there are three points on this graph where there's a turn or a change in from increase to decrease or decrease to increase. Okay? So at this point up here, notice how it's at the highest point within that range of the graph. So that's a relative maximum. So a relative maximum at x equals negative 2. Right here, I have a relative minimum because it's at the lowest point within that uh, particular section of the graph, and that's at x equals 0. Remember, when a point is on the y-axis, x equals 0. And then I have another point right there where it's at the highest amongst all the different parts of that graph, so it's a relative maximum, and that's at x equals 1. So I hope this kind of answers your question about what relative minimums and maximums are. And we'll get into more of this a little bit later and talk about absolute minimums and maximums. But this gives you an idea of what they are.